Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Anna, and today's video, I am showing you guys and how I created my natural look on my eyebrows. And I'm gonna give you guys all the stuff by stuff, and you're gonna see my before, before I glammed up. So, uh, yeah. So this is what I look like before I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Today's concentration will be eyebrows. So if I scare you guys, I'm sorry. This is how I look. <laughs> so if your eyebrows are as thin as mine, I wanna show you how I do them every day. And now there's certain um, products you can use. It all depends on what you're comfortable with. You can go drugstore or you can go high-end. I'm gonna try to do as minimal work for you guys because I don't want you to feel like, do I need all those things? Cause it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. But at the same time, like if you wanna use this nice Ponomade from Anastasia or any other product like CoverGirl or Revlon or whatever the case this bitch is good like it's long wear easy to use and stuff like that for me but it is an expert level but we're not there because this is just a beginner um if you're a beginner and you're watching this video you can use all these three pencils that i have any of them now this guy is just an extra thing you don't really need it but it does help this is by e.l.f. and I use this mostly for my uh, eyebrows to help me groom it so that way it can extend out my hair a little bit for me and it can help me shape the way of my look. The Bonnet's Contour Eyebrow and cool thing about this it has like different shades of colors and this is pretty expensive for what it is i think this is normally like 34 dollars my favorite one i like to use the most is this elf pencil it's only two dollars and i love it because it has this nice little brush because it will help me push out the product out and all this color i want to achieve now if you have dark color hair on your eyebrows but if you're in my complexion you normally want to go a little bit light you don't want to go too crazy heavy tone and stuff like that unless you're trying to achieve a different look or something like that but you don't want the whole thing to be concentrating on your eyebrows you want everyone to look everything you got going on right again if i look so scary i do apologize i know this is kind of a close-up of me and i normally don't like to do that much of a close-up so i'm just gonna use my elf clear product here and like i said i like to use it just to help me groom up like the shape now if you already trimmed it too short or something like that don't worry because um what this is gonna help you is like bring up the shape of your brows i like fuller brows because one i'm not feeling my thin brows but now if you don't have any brows i mean it's gonna be a little bit more time to do but this is the way I like to navigate people or help people navigate on where to start. So you can actually use your own pencil and like use your pen right here and like and just put like a little dot right here. Your nose is your guide basically so that's actually pretty nice. So it was actually hitting, it was hitting right there. And then we're gonna go here and then do one of these. So your nose is your guide, guys. I'm gonna use a smaller mirror because I noticed that every time I use my bigger mirrors, you guys lose on what I'm doing. And so that way you guys can kind of follow on how I'm doing things. Now I'm gonna start with my right brow and then I'm gonna work over here. Cause I see my two little dots and Cool. So what I like to do, I like to like once from the dot, I like to like do little small strokes. I don't want to go too heavy. And it's not going to be a perfect line, but again, you can use your nose to kind of help where everything should be. And each 
part is kind of like helping you where it ends like if you want to know where it should end like you can put like a little dot right there in the end too so that kind of helps now after i do my underbrow like the lighter part on how i like to shape out my eyebrow you can help yourself using a small dot we just did there and do like a smaller brush up like but you don't want to do like a stencil like stamp eyebrow because then at that point it's not no longer a natural brow and we don't want we don't want that look that's just not not a girl if you put too much it's you just have to go back in and kind of like take some off it's easier to fix it if you have lighter strokes or lesser product because it's easier for you to go back in and fix that this is how this spoolie is going to help me move some of that product that i already laid down and i'm going to brush up we're going to do the same thing over here just put a dot right here so i know how to level up i already have a dot right here so if I want to, I can actually use my nose to help me put another dot where I want this one to meet at. And like I said, you just want to do light strokes underneath the brow. You can kind of see my shape. And I'm not trying to put too much product, guys, because like I said, less is more. I already had a dot here, so I'm just going to lightly start drawing so that's enough we're gonna go back in and use my dandy little spoolie and use the product to brush up and you're gonna see a lot of that product that we lightly put on move with the spoolie and fill in the areas that you lightly aren't can see a lot of that product brushed up I'm gonna do right here too because I don't want it to look too boxy now I'm gonna go ahead and use my benefit I'm gonna go with a deeper shade and I'm gonna use a deeper shade mostly down towards the tail of my eyebrows and what this is gonna help me is just help me define the shape the way I want to do my shape and, and now I'm gonna use a lighter shade of brown what that's gonna help me is put more definition and like kind of like a shadowing type of thing like so this lighter color like I said it's just gonna help me give more like a folder effect on my brown and I know right now it looks like Anna that shit looks crazy but we're gonna fix that don't worry and just little small strokes right here and I'll brush up some of that product because I think I overdid it but no problem all right I'm gonna use this stuff right here and it's gonna help me clean up the areas that I overdid I'm gonna use this q-tip to help me like clean up my brows a little bit better especially help me shape up the way I want to kind of shape it and if I want to go like right here where I some of that product fell just cleaning that up we're not there yet we're gonna use concealer and also a little bit of my foundation to help me achieve the way I look now now don't freak out because your eyebrows are never going to be twins. They're always going to be hermanas, sisters, okay? So right now, uh, to me, they're almost identical, but they're not. <laughs> now I go in between when it comes to concealer. I like to use my Jeffree Star concealer or I will go uh, the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is my favorite as well because they both have really great formulas. This one's only, I think they're only five bucks if you went to Ulta or you want to go to the LA Girl website. And obviously Miss Jeffrey is about $22. 
but really great product. I love, I love his stuff. Now we're just gonna use my LA Girl. I'm just gonna, I only showed you guys what kind of concealers I typically use, but I'm really just gonna use LA Girl because like I said, who am I gonna impress? I got nobody to impress. gonna go ahead and start spreading I want to use like a flat back concealer brush and help you like spread the product itself so I'm just gonna turn it over and put it all over I like to put like a little bit outline out a little bit sometimes because it kind of helps me um, level out underneath my brow. Clean them bitches out. Mm. Loving it. For me not trying so hard, they're kind of coming out really good. Now the next step, the way I'm going to do my eyebrows, I like to use my Fenty uh, foundation. Some people like to use concealer throughout, but I like to use foundation above my eyebrow because at this point, what I'm gonna go do is go very light, like above the eyebrow. So, so that way it can continue having that, the natural look that I wanna achieve. I want them to look nice and full and make it look like God just gave me the best eyebrows I ever had. Uh, you can still use the concealer brush to help you shape them out. So I just have a little dab of the foundation here. And I'm just gonna just put just a tad in there and then a tad right there. Like I said, I like to map out the product. And I'm not going like too close to the eyebrow because again, don't do stencil like brows. And then I just start going from the tip of the concealer brush and then push up because if you go along the lines of your eyebrow, then it's just gonna look like you just stamped them on. Now we're almost done. I know there's a lot of products out there that says they're long term, like you have an all day wear and everything, but don't believe the hype because sometimes it's not that. So what I'm gonna teach you guys is how to set your eyebrows so that way you can move on to the rest of your face. So you can use any type of setting powder. So the setting powder that I'm gonna use is by Morphe. I have the translucent. Put a little bit of product in the tray that it comes with. We're just gonna pat it just a tad. You don't wanna go too crazy. And I know like some of you are like, well, isn't that taken away from the color that you build? Um, not really because it's just translucent powder, so it's gonna, we're gonna brush a lot of that stuff off in a moment, so. Now, if you're asking me, um, so how long does this have to be on? Um, I'll say a good three minutes or so. Well, that is setting. I'm gonna move on to my entire face, so that way <laughs> everything can match, so. All right, guys, I already did my foundation and stuff, so what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna take off the setting on powder off my brows and then go from there. I like to use this uh, JS2 brush from Morphe and Jeffree Star. You're gonna notice that I have a lot of Morphe brushes because they're really affordable. So yeah, I don't spend that much on brushes. And we're just gonna lightly brush off. And you'll notice I didn't lose any color. Now these eyebrows can be your natural look, it could be your glam look, so it's pretty much universal. It's all in your own opinion though. Um, so I'm gonna finish up my, my look for the day and go from there. And this is my look that you guys saw in the beginning. Uh, I like to call this look mostly like a casual look 
so it's not too crazy and stuff like that so and thank you for tuning in so don't forget to like subscribe and sign up for those notifications so next time i upload you get notified right away and i'll catch you guys on the flip side and take care bye